Baruch Haba, and welcome to an, another Olive and Tav treasure. This one is going to refer to Yeshua, the Olive and Tav, and the Second Coming. And why do I say that? Because of the Vav, which, as I've said in other videos, the the Vav in front of the Olive and Tav says to me that the Olive and Tav as Yeshua coming with a sword. But this one is going to be in Exodus 29 verse 41 and the verse in English says and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight and you shall offer with it the grain offering and the drink offering as in the morning for a sweet aroma an offering made by fire to Yahovah. Well, our uh, Olive and Tav is at the very beginning of the verse. Ve'et hakevis hashani is the Olive and Tav with a sword or a vav, which just means and. Hakevis, kevis is lamb. Hakevis is just the lamb. Hashani. Shani means second, the second. So the Aleph and Tav as the lamb, the second, the second lamb. And the verses that we're going to reference for the second coming are Revelation 5, 6, and 12 mainly. The other one you can look up yourself, but we're going to go to Revelation now. Verse, I mean, chapter 5, verse 6 says, And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And verse 12, we're starting 11. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Yeah, and Yeshua comes back with a sword. It, this is the second time he is the lamb. The first time he was the sinless lamb given as a sacrifice. Go back to Exodus. And so, that's our olive top treasure. For today, the Aleph and Tav has the Lamb, the second. Thank you.